Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, circle fully confined uh, in between uh, yellow and the blue circle, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, all these uh, circles are tangent to each other. And moreover, uh, the center of this uh, yellow circle is P, the center for blue circle is Q, and the center for this uh, green circle is T and their points of uh, tangency are uh, A, B, and C respectively. And furthermore, uh, the radius for this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle is 2 units, whereas uh, the radius for this uh, blue shaded circle is 3 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, green shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are interested in calculating the radius uh, of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, circle, let's assume the radius of this green shaded circle is uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase r. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center T with this point of tangency B as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each, since uh, these are our uh, radii and this uh, is our tangent line. And now I'm going to label uh, the radius of this uh, green shaded circle as uh, lowercase r. And now I'm going to connect uh, these uh, two centers P and T, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this crucial fact, the centers and the points of tangency are collinear. So no wonder these centers P and T and their point of tangency are uh, collinear they lie on the very same line. We know this uh, radius of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 2 and the radius of this green circle is lowercase r. So therefore uh, this whole uh, distance uh, pt is going to be lowercase r plus 2. So we can write lowercase r plus 2. And in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular dt on this uh, radius uh, AP. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, AD length is same as this uh, BT length. This is lowercase r. So therefore AD length is uh, lowercase r as well. And we know this whole uh, radius uh, AP length uh, is uh, 2. So therefore uh, this uh, PD length has got to be 2 minus uh, r. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle PDT. And I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, DT length uh, as uh, x. Then this uh, distance uh, AB length is going to be x as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is r plus 2, whereas uh, our two other legs are uh, x and 2 minus r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 2 minus r whole square equals to r plus 2 whole square. Let's simplify. We are going to get uh, x square plus uh, that's going to give us 4 minus 4 times r plus uh, r square equal to r square plus uh, 4 times r plus uh, 4. And now we can see r square, r square gone. 4 and 4 are gone as well. And now I'm going to move this uh, 4r on the other side. So x square is going to be equal to a times uh, r. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our x value is simply 
turns out to be 2 times the square root of 2 times r. So thus our x value simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 2 times r. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center Q with this center T. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we can see this is the radius of this uh, blue circle. And this is the radius of this uh, green circle. So therefore, uh, this blue radius uh, is 3. And this green radius is uh, lowercase r. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, distance uh, TQ is going to be lowercase r plus 3. So I can write lowercase r plus 3. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular uh, ET on this uh, radius uh, CQ. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, TE length uh, as Y. Then this uh, BC distance is going to be Y as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, CE length uh, is same as lowercase r. So this is uh, lowercase r. And this uh, whole uh, radius uh, CQ is uh, 3. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, QE is going to be 3 minus R. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, QET. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And here our hypotenuse is R plus 3. Whereas our two other legs are uh, y and 3 minus r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, y square uh, plus uh, 3 minus r square equal to r plus 3 square. Let's simplify. We're going to get uh, y square uh, plus uh, 9 minus 6r plus r square equal to r square plus 6 times r plus 9. And here we can see r square, r square gone. 9 and 9 are gone as well. So we are ended up with the y square minus 6r equals to 6r. And now we are going to add 6r on both sides. This is gone. So y square turns out to be equal to 12 times R. Now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, y value simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 3 times r. So thus our y value simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 3 times r. And in this next step, I have dropped this perpendicular BF on this uh, radius uh, CQ. And now we can see this uh, segment uh, FC length is same as uh, this uh, PA length, which is 2. So therefore, our this uh, FC length is uh, 2 units. And we know this whole radius uh, CQ length uh, is uh, 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, FQ length has got to be 3 minus 2 is going to give us 1. And furthermore, uh, this uh, PF length uh, is same as uh, X uh, plus Y. So I can write this one as uh, X uh, plus Y length. And finally, I'm going to connect these centers P and Q as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see this is uh, blue circle radius, which is uh, 3. And this is a yellow circle radius, which is 2. So therefore, this whole PQ length is going to be 2 plus 3 is going to make it 5. And now we are going to focus on this right triangle QFP. And we are going to apply on this Pythagorean theorem as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And here our hypotenuse is 5, whereas our two other legs are 1 and uh, x plus y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, we got uh, x uh, plus uh, y whole square plus uh, 1 square equals to 5 square. 
and here our x value is uh, 2 times the square root of 2r and y value is 2 times square root of 3r we are going to substitute uh, those values over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted uh, those uh, values and here in this uh, next step 2 is in common in between if we take it common and then square it that is going to give us uh, 4 so therefore we can write 4 outside times the square root of 2 times r plus the square root of 3 times r plus 1 square is 1 equals to 25 and now I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with 4 times the square root of 2 times r plus the square root of 3 times r whole square equals to 24 and now we are going to divide both sides by 4 this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore we got square root of 2 times r plus the square root of 3 times r square equals to 6 and now we are going to take care of this square that is going to give us 2 times r plus 3 times r plus uh, 2 times uh, r times uh, square root of 6 uh, equal to 6 and here we got uh, radius r in common so therefore we got uh, radius lowercase r outside 5 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 6 uh, equal to 6 and now in this uh, next step I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 5 plus 2 times uh, square root of 6 to isolate r this is gone so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be equal to 6 uh, divided by 5 plus 2 times uh, the square root of 6 and now we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator so therefore we are multiplying and divide by the conjugate uh, 5 minus uh, 2 times square root of 6 uh, divided by 5 minus 2 times uh, square root of 6 uh, as well and now I'm going to multiply these uh, numerators and likewise uh, we are going to multiply these uh, denominators as well and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b is always equal to a square minus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, denominator so that is going to give us uh, 5 square minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 6 uh, whole square that is going to give us uh, 25 minus uh, 24 that is going to be equal to 1 so thus our uh, this uh, denominator value simply turns out to be 1 so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r is going to be I'm going to distribute uh, 6 over here that is going to give us uh, 30 minus uh, 12 uh, times uh, square root of 6 uh, all over 1 so therefore uh, the radius uh, lowercase r of this uh, green uh, circle turns out to be 30 minus uh, 12 times square root of 6 uh, units so thus the radius of this uh, green circle turns out to be 30 minus 12 times square root of 6 uh, units and that's going to be approximately equal to 0 0.606 uh, units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye